Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another week of editing uh, of Vivaldi Violin Concerto every day. Uh, back to the violin concertos this week. We had a little break last week. Um, doing this to raise uh, awareness of uh, for, for all our all our musicians in Saranesima who have lost all their work due to COVID-19. Uh, if you are feeling generous, please uh, do make a donation uh, via the button on the website. Um, today we are looking at a concerto in C major, uh, RV172. Um, this is one of a handful of concertos that uh, Vivaldi dedicated to Pizendel, uh, presumably written uh, during Pizendel's stay uh, in Venice in 1716 and 1717. Um, it's an interesting uh, manuscript. If you look at the start here, if, um, first of all, you can see it says uh, Concerto Fatto per Monsieur Pizendel. There you go. And then Del Vivaldi um, to the right. Um, you can see that, in actual fact, um, uh, it, it appears to have been written at sort of two slightly different stages, and certainly with two different... Uh, two different uh, pens, two, two, two different quills, and um, uh, and the second the, the second time round, uh, for instance, I mean, if you look if you look down here, I mean, this is this is incredibly neat, um, as as is this, uh, but um, he obviously had a change of heart because the the original um, theme for the concerto, he scrubbed, which is written very neatly, is scrubbed out, and then below that in much scruffier handwriting, looking as though it's being composed at great pace, um, is the, the, uh, the concerto in its, in its final form. I have to say, um, this is, uh, bearing in mind, this is 1716, 1717. Um, that sort of equates with early Vivaldi, um, the early style. And it's, it's, it's got everything that, that, that's really, really good about Vivaldi when he's on top form. Um, at this at this period in, uh, of his life, it's got really really beautifully clean lines. Um, you kind of you know you you know what he's going to do, and it's um, it's always so good when when things like when when he does exactly what you do, what what you do think he's going to do. Uh, is is the um, is the uh, opening ritornello. Really, 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 really fresh feeling to the uh, to this piece. Um, there, it's, it's got sort of typical sort of lots of passages for Pizendel to get his fingers around, and um, and also uh, what what, what uh, you sometimes get in Vivaldi at this time, you get some really, really slight, really really bizarre passages like this one, which precedes a really really great, uh, really really great uh, ritornello. So. So it's all it's all sounding um, quite kind of you know like you might expect, and then he sort of takes takes you up a slightly strange alley. Which is just a bit weird, really. And then he goes much more normal and then great written edit. so it's really really energetic uh, piece and um, again because he's writing for Pizendel he's got to write some really s stinky string crossings like this, this passage here, which is a, a real song. That's really, really hard.
yeah, that's, that's, that's a really, really nasty passage. Again, um, uh, the slow movement uh, is, is really rather beautiful, um, composed as it is over a, over a five-bar ground bass. You, as usual, Vivaldi, when he does ground basses, he doesn't do things by halves. Um, most composers would sort of use a sort of four or eight bar ground bass. Now Vivaldi does a, uh, with, with his uh, love of sort of strange length phrases, selects a, a five bar ground. And then um, great, great last movement. Here's the written note from the last movement. So there you go, um, all finished uh, today, finished nice and early, um, and we're going to give this nine and a half, it's a, it's a real cracker. Um, so there you go, see you tomorrow, cheers!